Why though, sir? You can't have light on uh, I definitely cannot. It's for my safety, okay? Uh, what do you got going on out here? What does it look like? You want to be a smartass? I mean, what does it look like? You want to be a smartass? It's called reckless burning if you want to if you want to go that route. We can go ahead and push that route. Burning. Reckless burning when you're burning something outside of an authorized area. You want to go that route? It is Do you really want to go that route? Do you really want to go that route? The light is for my safety. I don't know who you are. I don't know if you're a criminal who's going to try to pull a gun out on me or a knife or anything like that. That's what the light's for, okay? That's what they're there for. That's why they're put on patrol vehicles. What's your What's your name? My name is what's that? One second. I hear you call your supervisor. If this is bothering you, I'll put it out for you. I'd appreciate that. That's what my contact. I was just going to ask you nicely to do that, but since you want to be as smart as and ask me what does it look like and talk to me like I'm dumb, I'm obviously going to push the other route. It's pretty obvious that the problem here is a police officer was disrespected in his mind. So therefore, things escalated. Uh, this man is in Longview, Washington. He was sitting on a bench minding his own damn business before this cop showed up, flashed a light at him, and then wondered if someone would pull a gun on him. Guns don't get pulled on you if you don't approach folks that aren't bothering you or anyone else. So anyway, it goes, uh, this continued on. This cop made this 31 year old man again, uh, a Ray Sean Swaggerty Owens. Blow out these candles. Why were those candles there, you might ask? He was mourning a friend who had died in a car accident just a few hours before, the same day. As we go through all this, you're gonna find out the cops, they know a lot more about him than they would reveal at the first. So let's let him uh, continue on with this harassment. Would you like me to put that up? That's Bobby, you want me to put it up? I'm telling you. Okay, I'll put it up. We're gonna have to put it up, but let me get your ID. I'll put this up. What's your name again? Officer Mora, M-O-R-I-A, make sure you spell it right, okay? I don't need to spell that. I'll put these candles out since it's bothering this guy. Do you have ID on you? I do, but I'm, I don't need to give it to you. Okay, is that really the route you want to take, sir? What route? I'm Obstruction. sitting on the bench. I'm, I'm not going to head back to my wrong. vehicle until you're identified. Anything wrong. Nothing wrong. I'm not going to head back to my vehicle until okay, you're well, identified. Don't come over here pressing weight on me. Call your supervisor. I got somebody else coming out. Don't worry. Tell them to pull up. Have some condolences for somebody. Yeah, forget about that one, huh? Yeah. Do you feel tougher now by talking like that? Do you feel like you're this big bad guy or this big badass by talking like that? I am a badass, actually. Okay. If you've noticed, he continues to go back to, you wanna go this route, I can do this, I can do that. It's trying to regain what he thinks he's lost his control over the situation by intimidation and telling him what he can do because I'm the authority here. You know that boy, that's this approach, that's this energy. And if someone doesn't agree with that or go along with that, it gets even worse. Let's get the details of what he is, why he's harassing him or what is that, uh, uh, that uh, Swaggerty Owens was doing there. He gathered near this bench off of Industrial Way with others on the night of September 19th to mourn 26 year old Celeste Williams who had died in a rollover car accident earlier that day near the Longview location where they were. He said the two were really close. He said, I've known her since I was in diapers. My whole point of being there was because that was a friend. Keep all this in mind, the mindset of the guy sitting there on the bench while he's being harassed because I wouldn't have had this much control. So Raggedy Owens said the loss of his friend was hard. He said he witnessed first responders using a winch to remove the car from the water of a drainage slow and bystanders rescuing the passengers trapped in the mangled vehicle. Now that evening, he said he and three of his friends brought candles to the location for the vigil and he remained at the bench to overlook the candles as they burned so that nothing would happen to them. Yo, I got chills just thinking about the energy in the situation, the mindset you have to be in. Then he decided to stay because it's that important to him. Other friends that were very close with them all decided to leave. He was the last one there and this is how he ends his night. Now, as he mentioned this officer Moore, spell it right, cuz you were supposed to respect me. He did call, not for a supervisor, but for backup. And look at the difference in the way that one officer approaches someone who's in mourning versus the a-hole that's started the whole situation, watch. I'm just sitting here with the candles. This dude came up, had a problem with me. I had he a problem came, with you, I asked you. Real hard, so I turned on my it's all on body cam, dude. I told him. You can go ahead and request it, you know post it on Facebook huh? if you, you want. Know Katrina? I know everybody. Oh, I don't know that. Do you know what his name is? I forget. <laughs> Sorry, I guess fine. our contacts haven't been too bad. Yeah, I mean, there's no need for my name. I'm just sitting on the bench. 
Not bothering nobody. I pay my taxes in my house right down there. That, that's common sense. Well, I could see you wanting to pay your respects to Katrina. It's pretty awful. I mean, yeah. So, I mean, y'all can go about your way. I'm not doing anything wrong. I was well, simply asking you. This what, ain't my lighter. You what you have light going on? Is that if what you, I said? If you feel like those candles are bothering you, take the candles. Why aren't they lit? The only thing in mind, because you made me put them out. I simply uh, asked him, what, what are you no, doing no, out here? And okay. he wants to be a smart ass and go, uh, what does it look like? So, I'm not going to argue with you. Are you able to identify him just by pulling up his dress for context? Yeah, okay. we will go that route. Okay. Sorry for your loss. When you see the people that you're supposed to protect as less than human or your enemies at all times, you forget that they're humans. As a matter of fact, that's the only way you're able to do the things that made these cops do to folks. That's why he can approach and see all this very human situation and completely miss it because he's already bought his BS. Jeff, there's a lot I laid at your feet here. What are your thoughts? Well, this man was mourning on a bench. What was the worst he was gonna do from that there position? The officer approached him and asked a question that I don't understand what criminal aspect of things he was going to do from that point. Again, he was just sitting there and somebody could say after watching this, well, what if Swaggery Owens would have just answered the question? Well, what if the officer who's wearing body armor and has a gun approached him and said, hey, it would be in your best interest to put these candles out. There's a law against lighting them. Oh, by the way, can I join you in mourning this friend of yours? The community is at a loss, may not have known that. You know, the officer didn't have de-escalation techniques. That's the bigger thing about him, that he felt like he was being disrespected and he had a little bit of an ego. And so that's why things went as poorly as they did. And so when the female officer, the supervisor, the woman came, she did her best. She did better than the other person. Mm -hmm. So. It's amazing how two different individuals can have a different level of ego and different levels of disrespect based on the same situation being shown to both of them. So good job out of her, by the way, but the first officer needs to go away. Yeah, and also, and they need to have a conversation afterwards, which you know, the Longwood police said, you know, we have to treat people with dignity and respect. What are you gonna do about it? Police like police officers and departments like to say this afterwards. We want the community to trust and agree with us. What are you gonna do to make that happen? Because there's lots of actions that happen to make people distrust and hate the police. There's actions that can go both ways to make this work. Uh, one more little piece here, because you said uh, the DS, he, he, he didn't have much uh, of skill for de escalating the situation. There was no escalation until he escalated. It. There was zero escalation. Sometimes there's people that, that uh, officers approach and they're already in a heightened state. That's when you have to start de-escalating. He came in from a very calm guy sitting on the bench doing nothing. There was no escalations until he showed up.